In this tutorial, we're going to show you some updates to the hit list function. You'll now be able to save hit lists and come back to them at a later point of time. You'll also be able to choose whether it's a default list for data cleaning or whether it's a phone call list. And you'll then be able to track whether you connect, leave a message or the person was unavailable. If you go into your client's database, some of you may have small databases, some of you may have large, but mostly what's important is the way that we categorize people. If you have your categories correct, we would recommend starting to look at your categories and saying, what is my most important group of people that I have right now? In my database, it's my VIP. Now, I have eight people in this list. And if I would like to start a hit list with them, which is a phone call hit list, I can use the actions, create hit list option, and give that a label. Instead of using the default, which is generally used for data cleaning, and we'll have a look at that in a second, we can use the phone call option and use the create hit list option. This will then give you the eight people at the top of the screen. Now the beautiful functions with hit list is that if someone calls or you need to go somewhere else in the database, you still have the ability to click in any area of the database and then jump back to the record you're on in the hit list by using the actions view summary. So now I can use the actions view summary and start my calls with Ian. If we're calling Ian, we have all of his details over on the right you'll generally always want to add a note after you've completed a call. So by using the actions, we can then add a note. And here we can put connected will sell soon. And we can then add a note. After you've added the note, if it was a great call and you connected and you need to follow up with them, you can use the actions, create tasks option, and then book in a phone call to speak to them whenever you need to, but we'll put a week's time here and we'll put hot seller and then add that in. Now the final thing that you may need to do after speaking with Ian is update any information on his record. So in the information area, you might want to change the tags he's in. In the contacts area, you may need to update some more details. But once you have finished updating the data, you'll then be able to go to the next item and you need to choose an outcome. If you connected, we'll select the connected option, but you can see there's two other that they were unavailable and left a message. When you've selected an outcome, it will load the next person you need to call. Now with Alex and Ray, let's pretend I left a message. And if we'd left a message, I would always say use the actions and write a note so that we know that you actually have left a message. But we'll select that outcome and just move on. Now with George, we're gonna say we called and there was no voicemail and he was unavailable and we're gonna use the unavailable option. So right now we've completed three out of the eight calls. The day's over, I can close the hit list and I can open up Locked On the next morning, go into the tasks area, and we'll have a new tab here called Hit Lists. This will show you the hit list that you've created and saved and how far you are through them. Now to continue on with your VIP calls, you'll hit the launch option, and it will open up to the last record you are on so that you can continue calling these people. To close it, hit the close option at the top. Now, if I go back into my client's database, and let's say I have a small database of 33 and I would like to go through and clean all these people, I can use the actions, create hit list, and we're just gonna call this data cleaning, and I'll use a default and hit create. This will then load a hit list of all of my records. Now the first one I can go actions, view summary, and I'll flick through Ian's data, I'll have a look at his contact information, maybe update his buyer criteria, look at what properties he owns, if he has them, any activity he has. But once I have finished making sure that this is a complete clean record, I can go to the next item and say that the outcome was completed. The other outcome you have during data cleaning in a default list is that you may not get a chance to do this person or have much information on them, so you can skip it. So that person is tracked as a skip and the person we completed first was called completed. Now the next person we're gonna complete and the next person we're going to complete. Again, if I get through four records today, I can close that list, turn off my computer, open up Locked On the next day, and go into my tasks, and look at the hit list, and we can now see I have my data cleaning list that I've completed four, and I have 29 remaining, and my VIP calls. Whichever one I need to start again, I can hit the launch option to open that up to the record that we were currently on.